Hi guys. So I'm doing a video and uh, basically um this is a device um this echo so it's kind of an unboxing so let me explain while well, I unbox it and move my keyboard real quick. Um yeah so um this is a normal Amazon Echo, okay? It's an Echo dot third gen. They have a fourth gen one. They also have a second, first, first and second. The second gen one is basically um, harder to open. The first gen one is basically has issues of failing. The third gen one is the per, per perfect device for actually not failing. And then basically the fourth gen wouldn't work for this project mostly because of be because you have to basically put some extreme heat on there because it's because the inside is covered the chip you actually need is covered in basically a in, in like a glue type substance that basically keeps it from actually being actually taken apart but basically it, there is an actual there is a um chip flasher that allows you to basically flash firmware onto the um echo and so the Echo itself, basically, um, you have to like take it apart, this specific one apart. The Fortune one works if you want to put that much heat on there, but the f but the but the third third one, the um, ch chip is exposed, so you can literally just take uh, the Echo, and uh, you can take the, the Echo, take it apart, and then change the actual um chip in here, and basically take take it flash. Flash e e prompt on there, and then it you can flash a custom firmware on there. So how to how to basically um what this firmware does is like um there's a project called the Amazon Echo on Raspberry Pi which allows you to basically hook up a microphone, and it also allows you to hook up um Raspberry Pi to um basically it's almost like it's a custom version of the Amazon Echo, and and you pretty much are um your your basically thing can literally your raspberry pi or arduino can act as as, as like a custom raspberry pi i mean as like custom amazon echo and you pretty much can just uh, put lights on there just to basically make it mimic the echo but so someone basically with that um um software you can basically change the wake word of what instead of saying A L E X A or Echo or computer, you just have to you actually can say any word word you want to basically ha ha have it wake. You just have to put put, put it into the command script to actually make it work. And so so with actually this one, you just have to take off the bottom piece and then the then take out the board carefully flip it around the actual um chip is on this side and then you can just um um flash the software on here put it back together plug it in and it's just like says said setting up a normal echo as long as you as long as you set it up properly you just have to um you actually can plug it in. Talking about the, the actual software, it should just be a plug and play, just like regular, but the wake words will be different. Or you can also change actually the voice. So instead of having the echo voice on here, you could basically have a custom voice. You can have like an anime voice talking about this or a, um, or whatever kind of voice. So you just have to, to program it onto here. You use using an EPOMP flat flasher, which you can get off uh, off of AliExpress for around like fifty bucks. Um, if you want one in like America, it would basically or wherever you're from, it'd probably be a little bit more expensive. Like DigiKey, you 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 can get it from from actually right there. Um, but AliExpress is the cheapest one. And what else is in here is the Echo card, things to save for the Echo. And at the bottom is the power cable, which is what you need to hook this up. And so, basically, I actually already have the um, 
Flash, Flash made, and I just have the EEPROM set up. I'm just gonna plug it in to make sure this works. If it does work, then I'm just gonna unplug it and then set everything up again. And that was a horrible peel, but whatever. So I don't need this box anymore unless it breaks. Because the fourth gen I had had an issue where, I mean, the first gen I had worked fine. I just got rid of it because of it wasn't properly, it wasn't working properly for, for fresh my needs. Most stuff wasn't basically working with it. Uh, second gen one died. Third gen one. I actually never had a third gen one. This is my first third gen one. The fourth gen, I haven't had that either. Um, yeah, so. Thanks uh, for actually watching. This is just this. I, have, I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Bye.